Well, this is DOS 2.0, not 2.11 or anything like that. They really didn't expect you to have a hard drive until DOS 3. Uh, actually, 3.3 is when they started including hard drive formatting software with the DOS. Uh, so, if this were DOS 3.3, I'd just look for F disk. Uh, what I have here, and I think that's an MS DOS 3.0 disk. I'll stick it in drive B there and see, first of all, if it can read this uh, 360 kilobyte disk in a 720 kilobyte drive. See what happens. Well, there it is. And I do have F disk. It's probably going to give me a incorrect DOS version when I type F disk. See what happens, or it'll just hang. Yeah, or it'll just hang. <laughs> yeah, it'll just hang. Cause I just told it to do something it didn't know how to do. Well, we'll try booting the MS DOS disk. I seriously doubt this will boot MS DOS 3.0. Ooh, it tried to do something there. That was a weird thing. Let's try that again. I hope it turned the light on. There we go. Oh, it, it was consistent. It did the same thing. Oh, it gave me some text there. I'm gonna have to look back on the video and see what it said. <laughs> uh, escape, break, control, escape, control, control, break. Nothing. What? Well, control. Oh, I can't do this with two hands. Control, Alt, Delete. Nothing. Nothing. I hung up the computer. Oh, I can't boot whatever DOS this is. I can't remember what it is because I didn't write it down. The fact that it got to that point was pretty impressive, actually. Oh, well, we'll make it happy with its own DOS. Something weird about something about the ROM. Uh, does it? I can't remember now. Does it load the ROM from the disk, from the DOS disk, and that's why an MS DOS 3.0 disk didn't work because it doesn't have the ROM in there. And it loaded 2.0 just fine. can read that MS DOS disk. I wonder if X tree. I wonder if X tree will work. Oh, probably not. Oh, oh. Just went back to the B prompt. <laughs> oh. There was another program on another disk that did work that I was surprised that it did. Oh, I'm not sure. Oh, it's not on this disk. I have too many disks floating around here. Well, now I know what program I need to use so I can put this book away. Yes, I have the original disc. I have several, several original discs, and they all work. 
put them back in their nice little folder. Test drive. Will Alkalade's test drive work on a Tandy 2000? Will it read the disk? Will it do anything? It doesn't seem too happy. Alright, let's abort. Go back to the A drive. There we go. B I R B. Light came on. It went off. It's not reading that disc too well. Yeah. It's not reading that disc. Another Tandy DOS disk. Oh, here we go. This is just a disk with some text files or document files and a system information file or a program. Yeah, let's do SI. Oops, would help if I went to the right drive. There we go. Well, this hung the computer last time, and it did now. I'm surprised it actually worked. It tells you it's got an 8186 in there, DOS 2.0, and it's a Tandy computer. BIOS version 1. <laughs> 1983. It's showing no serial ports or parallel ports, but that's incorrect. The program, this program was written in 87. Pretty neat little program. I'll tell you what kind of processor you have up to a, up to a 486. I think is as high as it knows how to go. It won't register a Pentium processor properly. It registers a Pentium processor as a 386 and on up. But it's supposed to tell you, uh, give you a benchmark. Oh, divide overflow. Wow, that's why it died. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I thought it froze. Well, we rebooted the computer. Let's try that H format again. And since all the default parameters were correct, I'm just going to type H format with a slash S, which will, whoops. Whoops, wait a minute. Why is it giving me everything's in caps lock? No. I can't get the backwards slash. What an odd little problem. Let's reset. <laughs> Come on, you. My hand's getting tired. Okay, let's do H slash S. S will copy the system. Press, okay, there we go. And then format failure. Oh, buggered. Let's grab another hard drive. It, you can't get out of this. It's stuck every time you hit escape or break or control C, control C. Oh, wait, look at that. It worked. Ha. I made a liar of myself. All right. Take, pop the disc out. I don't need that one anymore. Let's, uh, let's go find another MFM hard drive to use.